Hi everyone, I am Rajesh Kumar. I am having close to 16 plus years of experience in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. I have worked with more than 12 software organizations around the globe. I would like to introduce you all a DevOps School's a flagship certification program in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, this program will get started in the weekends. Uh, so get involved. Uh, please contact us on the phone number given on the screen. And in fact, you can email us on, on the contact at the rate of DevOps School. Capital D, I'm just putting up. Deploy one, two, three. Deploy one, two, three. Save it. Now you want to add as part of any group. Right now I have not created, so I'm not adding it. Okay. So this is the user I created. Now I'll create a group. Group also I'll name it deploy. Deploy. Okay. No admin access. Do you want to add a user? Yes, I want to be keeping the username deploy inside the deploy group. Done. Now you can set the permission uh, to the um, user level also, group level also. Typically we do for the group level, right? So that is what we do. So first let's create a permissions. Here you have a one default permission. I'll create a permissions. And this permissions uh, named with deploy which repository you want to add as part of this so maven local maven remote the one which i created only for this click ok ok and which users you want i don't want to add at the user level group level i want to do so group uh, deploy save it now watch access right now this all except this is not admin access ok so this uh, builds is not there. So builds is we are not covering. Why? Because we have a better solution, Jenkins. So that's okay. So here done. So I created one user. I added. A, I created one group. Added user to the group and created a permission and added this permissions for everything. Are you understanding all of you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. So. So username is uh, here. I have to set this username, right? So go to the setting.xml and setting. Let me delete all these things. So older actually. So what is the central? So central means this ID should match. Must match. Must M U S T. Okay, and this should be match. So I have a two central and snapshot. Username is deploy, and password is deploy. One, two, three. Like I think this is the one. I'll just see that if I make any mistake. So done. So that means uh, central. This is user ID and password for this central, and this is the user ID and password for this snapshot. Simple. So this is also done as part of the settings. Now finally, Maven deploy. So look at this pom.xml one more time. Here, this is the artifact ID packaging, the blah, 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 and all stuff like that. Version 1.2. It's a release version. So, what do we do? So, go to command line and MBN deploy. That's all. So, it will compile, test package, and deploy. Here, actually, the activities we did in the enterprise those will be done by admin team right means as a developer or as a user we know no need to do this setup means it if would be project you... specific right ha ah, depends on depends on the role see the okay. Uh, okay. i i would say don't think who will do that just uh, okay. set inform your mind inform your mind i want to know everything simple whether okay. it will be used okay. or not used Forget about in the project. Yeah? Okay, okay. Because if you and have some... uh, central will be uh, the secondary repository which will resolve the dependencies. If it is not present in the snapshot, it will take from the central, right? Uh, no, central we have created a remote in the artifact only. See. Okay. So this is the local where I can upload, and if I'll show this this one use re read also. So okay. now you don't talk to the central. So central has been cached in the your artifactory only. Let me show you. 
here you go to the view artifact tree artifacts this is a remote and if you browse see i have not uploaded any packages but this has come from the central hmm. in the background it was caching actually downloading okay so now let's look at this command line output see here look at this where is uploading uploading success done now where to see that package so local com devops school software chat 1.0 this is your package so uploading is done this is the way now i will ask you one question if you want to upload docker image what you will do tell me think the pattern and tell me what you will do i i showed you the docker image demo right okay first forget about the rest of the things tell me that commands to upload the package and download the package package means docker image what you will do guys we need to practice it docker was covered last month only so if you if you are not able to tell the, those commands how can you understand other things do you remember the push pull docker pull docker push hello anyone yeah no yeah 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 so you have to use the docker push and pull but repository will be changed so earlier it was hub.docker.com now it will become a docker so let me show you just uh, just for the reminding you if, if you want to do local repository this time docker so here it is docker this is a fff create one repository and see fff and this is the one now go to the user view artifact tree artifacts uh, fff here and set me up see here. login and push got it the address you have to change of your full address so understand in that way okay so coming back to the topic now so that I, I uploaded now how do we download that so for download you have a, have a two project project one project two understand this so project one which is for me is a chat just now i built it and this is a chat project two i have it this is the mail functionality so this is the mail so here mail is dependent on dependent on chat which version 1.4 okay so how do we set the dependency in the mail so let me go to the mail product and context and here it's already set the dependency because of the last demo okay so here you have a com dot school dot software chat one dot so if you see the chat this is the com dot school dot com software how do you get this dependency this line so you can go to uh, local com DevOps pool. You can create yourself also, but right now you're not comfortable, right? So you can copy paste here. So this is the one and go down. This is a snippet of form Avon. This YV, Gradle, and SBT. So I just copy this one and put it up here. So that means um, that means for mail, this is required. Okay. Now this I build it immediately in the same server. Usually it will happen in a two different server. Okay. So because I build it mail mail in the same server. So this package will be there in the dot M2. So remember that the flow first, it will look for local repository. If package is found here, then again, you use it. If package not found, then only it will go here. Correct now. So what I have to do, I will delete that package chat from the local because right now you have already in the artifact right so i will delete it from the local so how do we do that so go to uh, go to m2 repository 
I'm deleting just for the demo. Oh, com DevOps school, entire DevOps school I'm deleting. Remember. That means now if the package is not there in the local, they'll try to download from the central. I mean central means artifactory. Because if package is not there in the local, they will go to the artifactory. But the question is, Maven has no knowledge on artifactory. Where is artifactory? So how do we inform the Maven? So for that, let me set this logic for how to download the package. So first thing, set a dependency in form.exe that I did. Second thing, modify setting.xml with, with artifactory locations which element mirror element so if you go to the setting.xml there is one mirror element always remember mirror element starting ending these all are commented in this is the one so mirror element what you will take go give so you can give one repository also not a problem but if i give one repository then if i have a package dependency in a different different uh, repository then it will not work so what should I do? You tell me. Here, what should I use it? What should I virtual, use? Virtual. Yeah, repository. virtual repository. So I should use a virtual repository. So can I go to the virtual? Where is virtual? Uh, group. This is the one. Okay. And this is the address. File to virtual repository. Uh, I just need a URL, okay? Remember that in Artifactory, there's a little confusion. And confusion is, uh, the you can access the UI at 82 port, 8082 port, and upload and download happen with 81 port. So please don't get confused. Remember that I'm uh, saying in the recording, so you can refer it also. So here, where is my setting.xml? Huh, here. So this is the virtual repository address. Central everything, this is the one. ID can be anything. Now this ID and this this ID, this password should work. So it will work because I have given a, uh, access to that. So that will not work. So guys, that's all. So if you want to download, you have to do two things in the Maven. Set the dependency, modify the mirrors element in the setting.xml, and then do whatever you want for the chat functionality. Let me show you chat MVM uh, package and you should download the chat from the artifactory. Let me show you in the log and see here downloading because I deleted from the local repository, right? So it's now downloading the chat way and so is downloading. Uh, let me check. Uh, and this is the one. Uh, and this, how come it's coming from here? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Mail, mail. My, my bad, my bad. CD, mail. My one package. Rajesh, you know, uh, sorry, a uh, quick uh, question. On, just saying, you know, just saying, just saying, just saying, just saying. So here downloading from, this download is happening from same place, it's correct. Now, it says, okay, so this is not an error. This is a cache copy issue. So what should I do? Uh, how to forcefully download? Let me run one more time. Just see. Maven ports update. So there's a command which is called hyphen u capital. So hyphen u. That's the error you might get sometime. Still that error is coming. Wait a second. Let me read this. So clear the screen first. I will generate one more fresh. Uh, let 
me this is the dependency store it to download from the artifact it says uh, com.software.mail could not find artifact and this is going to this one let me check this is correct mail this is correct uh, uh, mail what is going to ensure ensure so this is the last demo is taking from somewhere just a second let me face this so could not resolve dependency this is correct but this is not correct but the question is why is taking from unsure which is not there in the file at all so i'll just close this i am maybe no to all cancel and open this file on.xml and with the notepad plus plus and this is correct so com devops pool software so if you would have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest thanks for watching